Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry, this is Miko with Q2 of the bi weekly contest 54. Uh, find the student that will replace the chalk. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord if you like it. Um, if not, that's fine too, but you know, I, I got nothing to say about that one. Uh, okay, so for this prom, you know, you may be tempted to do a simulation, and a simulation means that you just you know, go through the loop, keep on subtracting until you're done. Uh, the key thing to note, though, for that is that you look at constraints and k is equal to 10 to the 9th. So that means that if every element is 1, it's going to go for each. It, it's going to be a lot of pain, right? Because if you're 10 to, I mean, it doesn't matter how many elements, as long as, you know, um, if you go for each element, you know, one at a time and it's 10 to 9 times, it's going to be pretty slow. So then the other thing is that you know, you try to find an invariant for this problem. And this invariant is that the chalk, the, the number of chalk needed for each loop doesn't change. So, and because it doesn't change, you can just simply take the sum of it and then just do some math around, or well, not math, but uh, um, yeah. So then, because you don't need to know how many loops, it, you know, but you know that you're subtracted, you know, you're doing a repeat subtraction of the sum. And that, and that would speed things up a lot, of course. Uh, and of course, if, if you know if you're making that leap, the next one is just the mod operator, uh, which is what you do when you think about repeated, uh, repeated subtraction or division, I guess. But the other part of it, because you want to know, to know what's left over. And then after that, it just becomes a simulation. This is this is pretty much de de defined in the problem, so it's just writing what the problem tells you to do. Um, and of course, because you only go for the array, uh, 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 the linear array twice, one once to get the sum and once to do this, this is going to be a linear time in total. Uh, and yeah, and in space, we don't use it. It's all one extra space because, well, I mean, you look at the code, right? Um, that's all I have for this one, I think. Mm, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. You could watch me solve a live in the contest next. Uh-huh. <clears throat>
满满的城市了。Hope I'm not off by one. Okay, really worried about that one, to be honest. 